Hey everyone, and welcome to this week's update video. In today's update, we're going to be releasing the first batch of render improvements for space engineers. So now, I'm going to hand it over to render team lead, Jan, to talk about his work on the renderer. Hello, I'm Jan Hošek. Uh, I have joined Keen in the March of this year, and now I'm leading a new team of render engineers uh, here. We are working uh, on improving render and now you will have first time possibility to get your hands on uh, our work in progress. So let me show you uh, what we were working on. So the main goal of the newly created rendering team was making sure PBR materials look realistic both in space and on a planet. Uh, as you can see, metallic parts reflect the light and surroundings. The painted ones have nice warm feeling to them. We also made sure everything looks interesting even on the unlit part of the materials. With the help of indirect lighting and two backlights positioned in axis of the sun. It was very similar setup to movies. Holes in the ground or closed rooms now have proper dark feeling. There is still a little bit of light to help with gameplay though. But it's also possible to change whatever we like. We will get to that later. We improved all post-processing effects as well. Bloom now has smoother sampling and overall it is better balanced and tone mapping has lots of cool features. There is a completely new ambient occlusion from NVIDIA, the HBAO. It is stable and smooth and we are very happy with the results. Voxel rendering was improved. No matter whether you are looking from distance or close-up, the applied textures are sharp as originals from artists. A daylight atmosphere now covers the star sky completely as it should, but still the transition from planet to space is smooth. Also all planets' atmospheres were newly retweaked. And of course lots of other small fixes and improvements. In course of doing those changes, we cleaned up all the rendering pipeline from hard-coded constants left from prototyping stages of the game and exposed them in an in-game debug panels and through as environment SBC file. This way you can tweak the visual any way you like. We are looking forward to see some of your visual mods. Okay, so what will be in the future? Uh, we will be of course working on improving visual side of things, uh, fixing grass, uh, improving the trees rendering, which is already in the progress. We will also be working on shadows, so fixing the holes in them and making them more stable. But what will be the biggest task probably right now is improving the performance. Uh, you can read some more details about it on uh, Marek's blog. And I personally will now join a newly created team for improving multiplayer. Thank you and bye. You can find a link to Jan's guest post on Marek's blog in the description box below. There, you can learn more about our future plans for render improvements and optimizations. Also, as part of our tweaking to visuals, Cyberhounds have been changed to Wolves. The main area of bug fixing this week was reducing memory leaks on planets. Other bugs that were fixed this week include Saboroids being able to dig into grids, the animation of ship dampeners not showing, and freezes caused by Saboroids and cargo ships. But that's everything for this week. Please go to the forums for the changelog containing the full list of features, bug fixes and improvements going out in today's patch. Thanks for tuning in. Please leave your feedback and comments below. And here's a quote to end on. Science is about knowing.
Engineering is about doing. Thank you.